Hi, everybody. Um, you guys in California, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Evacuations ordered in fire ravaged Southern California ahead of rain. Thousands of Southern Californians were ordered to evacuate Monday amid fears that heavy rainfall could trigger mudslides, wildfires, leaving little to no vegetation to prevent mudslides and debris flow. Well, it's expected to come down upon you. The first major storm of this rainy season was expected to drench Ventura and Santa Barbara counties and Los Angeles overnight, Monday through Tuesday. Santa Barbara County, more than 6,000 people were evacuated, mandatory evacuations, including residents in parts of Carpinteria, Montecito, Galetta. Wow, you guys are really, oof, getting it. Voluntary evacuation warnings were in effect for 20,000 in the same communities. Mandatory evacuation orders for residents of um, Cajil Canyon, Lopez Canyon, and Little to Gunga Canyon. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing any of this right, but yeah, those areas that were affected by the Creek Fire. Ventura County also issued both mandatory and voluntary evacuations for several communities. Mud, trees, rocks, huge boulders coming down. There's nothing to stop it because it's been completely burned. Deliberately burned. Now you get a deliberate heavy rain. We still can't get through to people to stop this war using weather as a weapon. Mudslides, flood threat, prompts evacuations. Yeah, raises new danger for Southern California. This strong storm is expected to produce heavy rain, high winds, extremely dangerous flash flooding, mud debris flows. That's coming from your Santa Barbara County officials. Do you know that you have a Santa County weather modification service? That Santa Barbara, your government officials, are provided weather modification. I've shown it the evidence for six years. I'm tired. Be prepared for potential road closures, travel delays due to flooding, debris flows, mud, and rock slides. Okay. Um, Pacific. One Pacific Redwood. This was yesterday, or now two days ago, because it's 12.15 a.m. on the East Coast. Okay, today is January 7th, 2018, and right now at 7.20 p.m., we have a temperature of 61 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. Uh, the relative humidity is 53%. Uh, the dew point is 44 degrees, and the barometer is reading 30.04, which has dropped slightly. Okay, so we have a uh, 1,011 millibar uh, gale force system right here moving towards uh, California. And this is bringing all the uh, moisture into California for the last three days. We've been seeing, actually, this is the fourth day. We've been watching this uh, moisture move in with no rain. All right, so here's the uh, rainbow map. You see that this is all coming, uh, this uh, moisture is, is coming from deep down in the tropics, and uh, this low pressure is helping to wind that right towards uh, the uh, state of California. And also uh, Baja, Mexico, and Arizona. If you look at the IntelliCast Doppler map right now, uh, we see that all the rain is offshore. Everything's being broken up. There's nothing uh, right now in uh, Southern California or Central California. Uh, like I said, we have 53% uh, relative humidity. Uh, this morning at around 11.30 a.m., we had a 
47% relative humidity a number. And then by about three o'clock today, actually it was around 2.30 today, 2.30 p.m., uh, that relative humidity had dropped to about 37% because of the heavy chemtrail spraying that we've been seeing the last four days, five days, six days. Uh, actually, this flow pattern right here has been going on for at least a week right here. New Year's Day, we saw the tremendous aerosol spraying, which I documented on that day, January 1st. We should have had rain the day before, at New Year's Day, uh, and of course, New Year's Day, we should have had rain, and every day since, uh, we, we should be having a lot of rain. And we see this flow pattern, it's been all sprayed over. And also, interestingly, let's take a look at what's happening here in the western uh, U.S. water vapor map. You can see this low right here, this is about, uh, I think it's 1,010, 1,011, depending on what chart you're looking at, developing gale. And uh, we see that uh, there is a rectangular imprint right here. This has been going on all day. We can see that uh, power being pulsed on and off right here to break up this uh, very uh, sort of a reddish yellow a flow pattern. Now this is a, a, a deep area of water vapor right here. And so this should be bringing a lot of rain right into California right now. Even these little bits of uh, these little stripes right here that are moving in should be delivering rain, but they're not. And that is because we are being sprayed with chemtrails. So we have to understand that the chemtrails uh, cap the atmosphere while also lowering the relative humidity because they're desiccant. They contain aluminum nanoparticulate and a lot of other compounds, uh, but the main feature, uh, at least here in the southwest, we can we can confirm 100% that uh, the uh, spraying, the aerosol chemtrail spraying activity, uh, caps the atmosphere and it stops the rain. Now, other places around the country, you may see a lot of spraying, and it will rain regardless, and uh, that's that's a unique uh, thing. Uh, we don't see that here. Uh, when, when the jets are spraying down here in the southwest, uh, we have no rain. Okay, so uh, the uh, chemtrails are less effective up in these uh, northern latitudes. Up in Alaska at 60 degrees north, we saw the same uh, pattern, a lot of spraying, but it would rain regardless. So the uh, aerosols uh, diminish the rain uh, the further north you go, but they don't, they don't prevent it entirely like we see down here in the southwest. But anyhow, let's take a look here at what's going on right here where the tip of the pen is. You see a transmitter pulsing power into this area right here. We can see the rectangular imprint. Let's go ahead and stop the loop and take a look at this. You can see right here there's a rectangular feature right here. And the next one is forming right down there, right here. This is breaking up and you know, effectively uh, stopping the intensity of this developing uh, field of moisture as it moves in. And then over here we have a breakup. This is a rectangular shape uh, imprint as well. Now we're told, we've been told that uh, we're expecting, we should expect some heavy rain. Uh, but uh, the weather controllers have not yet turned on the spigot. We have a lot of chemtrail spraying. As I mentioned, the, the humidity is only 53%. When it gets to be about 90, 92%, we may start to feel like it's going to rain. But we can uh, clearly see what's going on here and up here as well. And also, we've got a, a big separation right through here, which is preventing this next frontal system from this our system here from mixing with this warmer uh, weather down uh, south out of the tropics. Let's just go ahead and uh, run this. And we can obviously see what's going on here. This is very clear that there is manipulation going on all through this area. So I will link below. You can watch the end of uh, One Pacific Redwoods video. I played it up to six minutes. Um, <laughs> The other, the amount of rainfall that you may be getting is pretty intense. Uh, Santa Barbara County will be getting 
I guess four inches, but up in the foothills and uh, mountains, you may be getting up to nine inches. So it's all controlled. It's all controlled. Look at these ultra low frequencies once again being set off in Sacramento off the coast up here Eureka Redding that these ultra low frequencies still going off in Portland still going off in and around Seattle. Intense manipulation of storms right here in your face and people are getting destroyed. Spokane You're getting these ultra-low frequencies pretty much on a regular basis now. And I did hear from a subscriber in the area. They don't have smart meter. They have very, very, they live very rural. They have almost no cell towers. Some neighbors have Wi-Fi, but she's been having heart palpitations. And Look at these frequencies being set off. Very intense, very powerful frequencies. They can steer storms with ultra low frequencies. They can induce earthquakes with ultra low frequencies. You can see the manipulation of these storms with the very defined lines. You can see the frequencies throughout the storm that is now in California, right here at the, the top of the storm in California. You, you guys are getting destroyed deliberately. We're all getting destroyed deliberately. But my God, are you in California? Your, your governor, Moonbeam, yeah, climate change, climate change, climate change. Bring it on. Destroy more. Californians that I represent. With our tools to create weather. It's very, it's so, it, it's sad to see this happen. Sad. That's an understatement to say the least. You can see the frequencies if you look closely. You can see the ridges and the precipitation. Yep, they're bringing it on you. All fired up. Holding it at bay and then boom! you're going to get hit. Jesus, I can't... Satellite, let's do the satellite. Satellite on Intellicast is... not as great as it was years ago. Interesting how the, <laughs> this is supposed to be cloud, cloud substance, don't really match up with the radar. But you can see all of the geoengineering, the chemtrail spraying, the deliberateness of this storm.
it doesn't really match up. Okay, well, to my subscribers and that have family in Carpinteria, and to all of my subscribers, all of you on the West Coast, you're getting pummeled. My God. All links are below. Stay safe, everybody.